Hey Bill, this is Jim. Just figured I'd uh, give you a better shot of what my setup looks like here. So I ended up offsetting the pulley onto one side. Originally I'd had the pulley in here, but because of the where the winch pulls, it kind of set it off on an angle and I didn't like that. So I brought it over here onto this side here. So each time I would use it for the season, I would unbolt in here and then I would run the, the winch line right through the gap here. And then it would go over, over my little snatch block there. And then that would send the cable down to my, uh, my plow frame. And all that is, is that's just a piece that I welded onto a hitch. I got that gob down pretty good. And in the, I think I used this thing for maybe four years. And that, that never gave me a problem. This is really heavy duty box steel and as you can see that's all it is it's just a hitch and then an upright and then uh it just slides into the slides into your uh, your little fake grease or whatever it is now i have a push plate now because i, I use a different plow now obviously that's why i have the uh, hydraulic connectors but that allowed me to just Put that sucker in there and then that put it right in front of the machine and it gave it changed the angle enough where it really made the plow a lot easier to to use because the, the winch doesn't strain anywhere near as much and even though this looks like a pretty severe angle for the winch cable i mean i've done way worse with winch cables before it's not it's not that bad and it's definitely a lot easier on the winch when you have more line coming out you get more strength the more winch line is off your drum. So like if you have a really short run, that's that's not going to help your winch in the long run. That's why a lot of those winches that they use specifically to lift up uh, the plows, they end up using those belts and they use the belts with only a couple of wraps on there so that you're not, you know, you're not overworking the winch. I know it doesn't seem like it would, but you know, that's a, that's a lot of torque for something that, that close. I also had a roller fair lead on here before. I did not have this. If I had this, I'm not so sure I would want to do that. I also don't think I would want to do that with this cable that I have on there now because I've got the uh, the fiber cable. So I've changed a couple of things since then, but I just figured that I would show you that because that is how I set it up. Let me set that. That sends it pretty much right in line with the winch as it comes out of the drum. Let me give you a shot. Well, let me see. I gotta get the light on. Hold on a second. Okay, so you can see my winch is in there. I set my winch a lot farther back because I do a lot of work where um, stuff gets thrown around in here, and I, I basically just didn't want to damage it. So that's why my winch is my winch is so far back. So I have to kind of I have to open up the hood to reach down to unlock my winch to get it out of there. But anyways, that is it. And I hope this was helpful.